Okay. You upload the, the video to your page and then you put a title and then you put a description and then, and then, and then maybe even change the thumbnail. If, if you don't want that one, you can click on thumbnail to the right, those images, that image, and you can, you can choose different thumbnails. Always do this, upload the video first and then do this. And then we go run the ad. Okay, because right. once you run the ad, you can no longer change this. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and write write out a title. That's going to be like the headline, and then and then put a description, and 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 just 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 be yourself. It's nothing. It's nothing too crazy. Like, attention restaurant owners. You know, attention restaurant owners, or 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 looking for restaurant owners who need more customers on social media. Something like that. You know, something. Something short and, and catchy. That's the title. And then right there in the description, write something like, my name is, my name is, allow me to introduce myself or let's put, put yeah, something like that. Put, put, because all we're doing is introducing ourselves and, and, and giving a little bit about what we do and who, and, and, and what we can do to help. So again, this has to be in your words, like, like just break it down simple. Like don't overthink it. Like, call out exactly who you're looking for. Um, my name is, allow me to introduce myself and tell you why social media marketing is the most important thing you could be doing for your business in 2021. Allow me to introduce myself but then how I'm going to introduce myself <laughs> to the video. That's why this is an intro video. Oh, I get it. I get it. You're right. You're right. Do that self and, and say what? Allow me to introduce myself and explain to you why social media marketing is the most important thing you could be doing to build your business in 2021. Okay. 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 So now click on that image to the right. The thumbnail. Right here. So click on that uh -huh. and then it'll allow you to choose different ones. Click on it. So now you can choose different ones. Okay. So I'll keep this one. What did I do? Okay, I don't know what you I don't know what you just did. Okay, good. Now we have it on the Facebook page. Now let's go into the ads manager and we're gonna run the ad. So let's go to dashboard. You see, I just started actually before I posted on my personal page i started uh, uh, creating ad and then i figured okay let me post another you'll see here uh, i should delete this okay so let's um yeah, delete that one. No, check the box. Check the box. Well, you can oh. go ahead and yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and just delete it. Okay. Yeah, this one is rejected. You know, I, uh, it says because of word marketing, I think. Okay. So. Now you'll see. You see, you can't run update text for some reason. So I have no idea. Okay. Well, we'll look at that after. Let's run this video real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, so create, create, and we're going to go video views. Okay. And then we're going to wait, let's let, uh, wait, don't, 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 don't. Yeah. You're going too fast. Okay. Okay. Are you, you breaking up? Should I go back? Um, no, that's fine. Just leave. Just, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll work with it right here. So right there, new campaign, the title, you always want to title it, title it. Um, right here on the campaign. Now, right there, you have three levels, new campaign, new ad set, new ad. Those are the three tabs. 
Okay, so those are the three tabs, the left tab, the middle tab, the right tab, all we're going to do is work each tab. So the first tab, give it a name, give it a name, intro video, intro video, video views, because each tab is, is a specific, you know, objective. So the first tab campaign, it's going to be video views. Our second tab, the ad set, that's going to be our targeting and our budget. So right here, intro video views, Royal Media, perfect. And then um, you don't need special ad category. So we'll just scroll down and we, we don't need the campaign budget optimization. So we'll just hit next. And now we're in the second tab, new ad set, click on next. So right here, the title you wanna give this one is the city you're targeting in your case, the city you're targeting and who you're targeting. So actually, you know what? We'll just leave it the city because in your case, you're not gonna, I would just leave it wide open. I would target, I would target, I would target everyone. In this one, in this intro video, we're gonna just target everyone. We're gonna target everyone in that local area. Oh, local so, area. So whatever city, we'll target a city. Okay. We can just do New York City restaurants and 25 miles around. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And so daily budget, you can go, you can go daily budget or you can go lifetime budget. I'll so, do daily minimum, like three bucks a day and just let it run for a few months. Okay. So if you're going to do that, don't do daily, do lifetime and just, and just calculate the amount of days. So if you're going to let it run, let it run for 30 days, do lifetime budget, click on daily budget, click on daily budget, hit the lifetime. And then if you're going to go three bucks, go three bucks times three or times 30, excuse me. So go, so go $90 right there, $90. That's the lifetime. And then you set the calendar, let it. And then what I do is I always set it for the next day. So if today's the 11th, we want to go the 12th and we want to go 6 a.m. So I'll always put it out till, till the next morning and then just January 11, that's fine. And then change the, that's fine. Change the time 6 a.m. So make that match. And where do I go to change this ninety dollars? Like if I, if I don't want them to charge at twenty five, like I know last time we we, we tried to do nine hundred, but that that wasn't possible. Maybe if yeah, I put yeah, like yeah. hundred bucks. Right here, it's gonna still charge you every twenty five dollars until you get to ninety. Okay. So until you start making payments on time, that's when, and it's just not even payment. It's payments on time, and it's and it's more payments. So as you make more payments, and as you make payments on time then your threshold will increase. Right now it's at 25 bucks. So you have to wait till they let you increase it. So this start date is in the past. No, that's fine. Cause it's not the past, right? Today, what's today? Actually, what is today? Today's the 11th. Is today the 11th? Yes. Yeah, so change that. That's, that's the 12th. You want that to be the next day, the 12th. Okay, perfect. So scroll down and then you're, you're gonna, this is just an intro video. It's just the first video view one. So what I would do is I would change the United States, put New York City, and then and then just target the keyword restaurant. Let's let's click on yeah. Type in New York City, and then um, you can change the miles if you want. New York, New York. Um, you can change. You can go twenty five miles, or you can you can um, you can decrease. You can decrease it. Yeah, you can make it go lower or higher. It's up to you. Okay, perfect. And you know what? To tell you the truth, bro, here's the deal. I would focus on just where you're going to go hit up. So if you're only going to go hit up a certain borough, like put that in. Don't target the whole area if you're not planning on going to that area. So, mm -hmm. so, so if it's just one city that you're going to hit up as you go out and get appointments, just hit up that one city. Don't go 50 miles. Cause you're not gonna. But you know, what's the problem? I, I live in Richfield Park, so you see it. You see right now it's at New York City when you look at the map, mm -hmm. right? So, but watch this. When I put my town. Yeah, put in your town. Richfield Park, New Jersey. Yes. Look at the map. It's right there. 
So that's fine. Thing. That's fine. T- take down the miles. Are you going to go 25 miles out? Yeah, let's go 25 miles. Okay, right that there. That's where you want to be then. Right there. That's where you want to be. Okay, so now okay. go down. What we want to do is we want to um, age. Let's change the age because we don't need 18. Let's go. Yeah. 30? Yeah, you can go 30, 30, 30 to 65 plus. Normally on a video view ad, I would have you just target everyone, but you're, this is very specific. So let's, let's get, let's get a little bit more specific. You know, let's put in the right age. We can leave gender, leave that, but the detailed targeting, let's edit that. And let's, let's put in, let's type in restaurant and let's see what, what words pop up. And, and normally, normally what I would do is I would have you separate all these different keywords. That's multiple ad sets. But in the video view, this first video, I would probably just bunch in a, a ton of them. Let's just bunch in a ton of them right here. Like, let's not even worry about multiple ad sets right now. We'll focus on that on our second ad. But right here, we want as many keywords as, as possible that, that are relevant. And, and you can go interest or you can go job title, you know, um, and then also, if you know any big restaurants or any big chefs, those are good ones to put in there as well. A popular chef or a very popular restaurant. Those who that 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 if I'm a restaurant owner, most likely I I I know of those types of you know influencers, or I'll know of that popular you know restaurant if I'm a owner. I'll know who my competitors are. I'll, I'll know who the best chefs are out there. I'll probably even follow them on social media. So when you put in influencers, you're targeting people who follow them. So that's why right here- the restaurant management. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, Again, it's video views. We're just trying to get a ton of people in that industry to, to, to see the video, you know? So keep going, hit suggestions, hit suggestions. Let's see what other words are there. Let's, let's, let's knock this out. Restaurant, general manager, food and beverage manager, freaking head chef. Let's just hit them all, hit them all, bro. Hit them all, job titles, hit them all. Because again, it's video views. It's the first video. Um, we'll get more specific on when you start running conversion ads. But right now, yeah, that one, that one's a good one. Admins, page admins, get that one. Food and, med- and restaurant page admins. That's always a good one, page admins, because you're targeting people who have a business page. If I have a business page, I probably own the business, right? Yeah. So that's a really good one to always target is page admins. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe like a, a, a bars. Every yeah. Bar has a- yeah. Bar owner. Then deli. That that one's small business owners. So you can go. You could put small business owner, but let's let's try to be specific. Uh-huh. Yeah, just go with. Maybe just a bunch of restaurant ones, man. Maybe just a bunch of restaurant ones. And hitting suggestions is always good too. Hit suggestions and let that let let Facebook work for you. You know, they pull up a bunch of them. Business, click on business page admins. Go with business page admins as well. Business page admins. And that's a, that's 140,000 people, man, all within that area. So shit, that's a good that's a good audience for right now. That's a good audience. You want to be above 100,000? Um and, yeah. and you're not even, you're not even going to hit all of them based on the budget anyway. You wouldn't live for example without the last one. Without what did we add last one? So if I if I take that one out, that admin, it would be thirty one thousand. So you wouldn't live like that, or would you? <laughs> With thirty one thousand reach? Yes, because no, right I'd, now I'd go a little higher. I'd go one hundred and forty. That's good. Okay. 
you could go 31, take it out. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get smaller. Let's get smaller. It's a small audience. It's a small budget. So let's focus in on, on the main keyword, which is restaurant. Exactly. So, so where did the last one, where did it go? Up. Go up. It's right there. Business oh, page okay, admins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That's enough for now. 31,000, that's okay. fine. That's a very small target audience. So now we're going to go down. Um, and in languages, right? yeah, we'll leave that. Languages, go ahead and type in English, English all. Type in English and go with English all. And then we'll leave it automatic placements. And then we'll just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and hit next. So that's the middle tab. In the middle tab, you're choosing your location, you're choosing your demographics, you're choosing your targeting. In the middle tab. In the first tab, you're choosing the objective, which is video views. Now, this third and final tab is where we get the video. You always upload the video on the business page first, and then you grab it from here. So now we're going to give the, the, the title a name, new ad. We could just put, um, it's kind of the same as the, the first tab, intro video. You know, intro video, that's the, that's the one you're going with. And then you always want to make sure that you hit the drop down Royal Media. If you have an Instagram account, you can connect it right there, Royal Media. Um, and then, and then below you'll click on right there, ad setup, create ad, click on that one, the drop down, create ad, and you're going to go with use existing post. And you're going to simply select post and then go find that post on the page, which is that first one right there. So click on that first one and then hit continue. Perfect. See, so now as you're in here, you can no longer change the text, right? So but can so, I add something? No, you can't. It's done. You can't. Oh, okay. So not even, all oh, right, all right. I see. Yeah, that's why I told you, you got to make sure everything is done up front because you can't change it no more. So, okay, I get it. so now let's scroll down. We're going to simply go with the send message button. Now, this is not a yes. send message ad. Scroll down. It's not a send message ad. So people most likely are not going to send you a message, right? They're call to action, but it's just to have it, just, just to have it. So you can have it there just to have it. Maybe someone will send you a message, but it's not designed for that. You're, you're running video views. You're not running send message ad, right? So just, just, just go with send message. Scroll down, look for send message. Right there, send message. And then, and then update post. And that's it. So you scroll down, make sure that that's the right Facebook pixel, um, which the pixel doesn't matter right now, but you still want to make sure it's on. Scroll down, 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 down. So you can edit this, this, the, the, the conversation, but again, nothing, no one's going to, no one's going to message you on this one. So that's the, that's the pixel right there. The green dot is showing, and then you just hit publish and that's it, man. That's a simple intro video view ad. Um, and the whole objective here is to create a custom audience. So let's, let's do that real quick. So hit, hit publish, hit the green one. So now, again, we're running this so we can create the audience. We can capture the audience of those who are watching it. Because what we want to do with those people are target them in our future ads. And, 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 right, and do I need our, to do anything here? Like with the, no, no, X out, X out. Just X out. Just, we're just good, done. we're good, we're good. Once you publish a video, you're done. So now just X out of the blue, one selected, one selected, one selected. Get rid of all that, one selected. So let's X out of that. So now you're in review and that ad will go live tomorrow. Now, what we want to do right now, since we're already here, we want to create the custom audience now. So let's just do that now. Hit the dots to the left and then go to audiences. So we're going to start, we're going to allow Facebook to start grabbing the data, start, start, start creating the audience of people who are watching this video. Okay, so is that it right there, the 25%? Did you already create? Actually, no, delete that one because that's probably- No, no, one. that was the, the, from the one Yeah, that delete that. Delete that. And then let's just um, click create audience, the blue one. And then let's, let's do it again. So custom audience and then um, video. Video, right? Yes. Okay, and engagement. And then go ahead and click on that. And then go with, I would go with 25%, you know, 25%. Why not 50, huh? The more, the higher you go, the less audience. Oh, I see. That's why I told you earlier. That would be, because it's kind of long. So that would be like a minute. Yeah. So if I sat there and watched a minute, that's a long time. And so 
you want to start your audiences at at least 25%, because if you go to 90, 95%, that's going to be a small audience. No one's watching. Majority of people are not going to watch your whole video at all. So three seconds, I mean, that's not enough time to really capture the attention. Maybe you can go 15 seconds, but, but I would go, I'd go 25. I just go 25. But what is this here? And then it says, uh, uh, choose a content type. No, choose videos. You're, you're in the wrong one. Choose videos, click on choose videos and then, uh, and then choose that video and then just hit con confirm. And then name the audience, leave it 365 and just name the audience, put 25% of intro video, 25% of intro video. And that's an audience that you'll always retarget. You'll show them your second, third, fourth, keep showing them ads from this point on, but your, your next ads are all conversions. No more video views, just all, all conversion ads retargeting this audience. And so on that second and on an on ad is conversion. So that's when you're trying to capture leads. That's when you're giving away a free, you know, restaurant, social media tip guide or something like that. That's when Kartra is going to be a big, you know, play a big part. So that audience hit done. That audience is already set and it's ready to build. So as that video goes live, that audience will start increasing and start growing. And then, nice. and then, um, and then you'll, you'll, again, you'll retarget them in the future from this point on. All right, so what should I work on for next video? Um, what you should work on, is your calendar done? There's no uh, more video. I wouldn't worry about a video right now. What you need to do is, 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 is update yes, that calendar, calendar and, 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 and go out there and get some appointments. That's it. That's it. Nothing else to worry about on, on the ad side no more. Go and freaking make your money back. Get that calendar up to date and then freaking um, – and then and go get some appointments through the calendar which all you got to do here is just simply update or edit the, 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 um, the booking confirmed email and the um, reminder email. You need to write out those emails, put your Zoom link in there. Yes, that was my next question about the Zoom link. I was trying to do yesterday and uh, I get confused when I get to the, into Zoom. But why did it show me that page is already open when it's not? I can find that page now. Yeah, you have to just go back to it. But that's how you run a Facebook video view ad, right? Yeah, that's